Today we're going to look briefly at scatter plots, a type of data display which relates two variables on an x-y axis and more generally at a concept called correlation, which gives us a numerical measurement of how closely related two variables are. Let's get started. To begin, I'm going to ask you to try something out. I've given you three scatter plots with a few data points graphed. I'd like you to draw what you believe is a line of best fit for each of the three scatter plots. Now, a line of best fit is going to look like a line drawn to the best of your ability through the data set. Perhaps Perhaps you can imagine these data points are cars. What would be the most likely road underneath these cars as they travel across the graph? Go ahead and pause and give it a try. Okay, now I did the task as well, and now you can compare your trend lines to mine. How are they similar? Are they very different? Don't erase what you have either way. Now let's move to a related question. How would you rate your confidence in each line of best fit? In other words, do you think that all three lines are equally good at describing the data set they are drawn through? I think we can all agree that the left line is very accurate. None of the data points stray very far from the line. And that's mostly true for the second one as well, though we do have a little bit more deviation from the line, particularly at these lower x values. The third line has a similar issue, with the larger x value straying further away from the line. In each case, however, the trend line, or the line of best fit, helps us visually see the type of correlation present. In the first and third plots, we see that as x increases, y gradually increases as well. This is a positive correlation. The middle plot, however, shows the opposite trend. In this plot, we see that as x increases, y instead decreases. That's a negative correlation. Now, there are some problems with doing data analysis this way. First, it's likely that all of us drew quite similar but still different trend lines. A robust or strong statistical method will have a prescribed or official way of generating a true line of best fit, not our best drawing estimate. That method, as we'll see later on, is called linear regression. For now, I'd like us to just look at the output or result of doing a linear regression analysis. One of the outcomes will be the equation for a linear function, an official trend line, that best fits the data based on a known statistical calculation. This trend line will allow us to decide whether the correlation, or the relationship between the two variables, is positive or negative without having to create a scatter plot. What part of the equation might give us this information? Did you say the slope? If so, you got it. Notice in this first scatter plot the equation y equals x plus 1. The slope is positive 1, and the linear function in blue is an increasing function. Notice in the second scatter plot the equation y equals negative x plus 8 describes a decreasing function shown in blue. This time the slope is negative 1. In each case, the sign of the slope positive or negative, of the equation describes the type of correlation between the two variables. A positive slope for a positive correlation and a negative slope for a negative correlation. Another outcome from performing a linear regression analysis is referred to as a correlation coefficient, or R for short. It gives us a measure of the strength of the relationship between the two variables. R can range from positive 1, a perfect positive correlation, to negative 1, a perfect negative correlation. If R equals 0, that means there is no correlation. Typically, an R value has to be greater than positive 0.5 or negative 0.5 to indicate a moderate or strong correlation. Any magnitude less than that would be considered a very weak or a low correlation. Any magnitude greater than that would be considered considered a higher or a strong correlation. Let's use these three on the right as an example. The top plot shows an R value of positive 0.984. That's a very strong positive correlation. We can see that all of the data is almost perfectly predicted by the trend line. The middle plot gives an R value of negative 0.284. That's a very weak negative correlation. We can see that the trend line is a very poor predictor of the data because most of the points have deviated far away from the line itself. Finally, at the bottom we have negative 0.995. That's almost a perfect negative correlation, and this is the strongest match among these examples. Notice that the data again almost perfectly fits the line. 